birthday, Canada. Hi guys, I'm Aaron, and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Facts. In each episode, we invite our friends to ask Aaron some fun facts they really want to know. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Hi Aaron, my name is Charles, and I'm an information technology support analyst. I was born and raised here in Canada, where I've lived my entire life. I love to travel to other countries, meet other people and learn about their cultures. But it's when I meet other people that I realize I still don't know everything there is to know about my home and native land. So Aaron, what fun facts can you tell me about Canada? Happy birthday, Canada! Canada's national holiday is celebrated on July 1st. Canadians across the country and all around the world show their pride in history, cultures, and achievements. Let's take a look at 10 fun facts about Canada Day. Fact number one. So what is Canada Day? Canada Day has been called a few names in the past. It used to be known as Dominion Day, the 1st of July, Confederation Day, and July the 1st. Canada wasn't really born on July 1st, but the holiday celebrates the events that took place on this day. On July 1st, 1867, the British North America Act created the Canadian federal government. This act stated that Canada will become an independent Dominion of England, which is why Canada Day was originally called Dominion Day. It's been a day of celebration where many festivities are held across the country since 1868. In 1982, Dominion Day changed to Canada Day after a vote in Parliament. But not everyone was happy about this change. Some people felt that 115-year-old Canadian heritage was lost. But the new name stuck. Every July 1st, Canadians celebrate Canada Day with parades, fireworks, picnics, and food. Fact number two, how do people celebrate Canada Day? There are tons of truly Canadian ways to celebrate Canada Day. Of course, Canada's capital, Ottawa, is tops for Canada Day celebrations. Here you will find festivals, events, and a ton of special activities and festivities to check out. Plus, there are free concerts, fireworks, and thousands of people wearing red and white. But most people celebrate in a more nature-friendly way, like on a mountain, on a boat, on a beach, on a campsite, or on a great trail. Fact number three, how big is Canada? We all know that Canada is a big country. But how big is it compared to other countries? It is actually the second biggest country in the world. Canada stretches across 9.9 .9 million square kilometers with 10 provinces and three territories. And we have the longest coastline in the world at 151,600 miles. It's 243,976 kilometers. We're on the metric system, okay? Fact number four, Canadians are quirky. Quirky. We're the only country I know of that names our currency something out of a cartoon. A one dollar coin ended up being called a loon because there is a loon on it. When the two dollar coin came out, we decided two dollars were just too much to say. So we all started calling it a toonie. Watch my money fun facts video, you'll learn all about money all over the world. Fact number five, Canada is confused. Canada is influenced by both Britain and the US. Canada is on the metric system, but most people weigh themselves in pounds and measure themselves in feet and inches. Our temperature is in Celsius. Our speed systems are measured in kilometers. We follow the British way of writing. We like to use the U in words like color and neighbor. We like to flip the ER with our E in words like theater and meter. We speak in acres, not hectares, and our apartment and homes come in square feet, not meters. We really have no idea what rules we're following. Fact number six, most popular phrase in Canada is... Sorry. Sorry about that, go first bud. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry bud. What is it with Canadians? We really do apologize a lot. When someone bumps into us, we say sorry. We're the ones saying sorry. It seems to be a very common thing. When you come to Canada, don't worry about offending anyone. Most likely if you do, a Canadian will apologize for you. Fact number seven. What animal represents Canada? Ta-da! Beaver. Canada's national symbol is the royal 
beaver. Yes, the animal we love is the beaver, and we show a lot of respect to it by eating beaver tails. It's very Canadian. However, don't mock the beaver. They're vicious. Beavers have been known to attack humans. They have been reported deaths by beavers. Oh look, there's one behind you. Fact number eight, the best Canadian food. We've been talking about how big and beautiful Canada is, but let's not kid ourselves. The real reason you're thinking of visiting Canada is for the epic Canadian food. But it's not just about the poutine. Okay, quite a lot it's about the poutine, but there are loads of other beautiful Canadian dishes you need to try. Like banak, butter tarts, Nova Scotia lobster rolls, Montreal style bagels, Saskatchewan berry pie, beaver tails, respect to the beavers, tir d'érable sur la neige. Don't forget Team Hortons. There's a Team Hortons in every corner of every small town in Canada. We've seen Timmy's in Times Square, Dubai, and Ireland. In 2019, Team Hortons opened their first store in Shanghai, China. This Canadian chain expects 100 and 500 locations will open across China over the next decade. Fact number nine. French and English. Canada has two official languages, and we learn both French and English in schools. But our language system doesn't really seem perfect, and not many people outside Quebec are bilingual. Everyone assumes most Canadians speak English and French, but that's not the case. Mais c'est la même dans Québec. Tout le monde parle français dans Québec. Même si dans les écoles on a un petit peu d'anglais, tout le monde niaise dans la classe d'anglais. Donc c'est très difficile d'être bilingue. So it's very difficult to be bilingual even if you're Canadian. Fact number 10, it makes the perfect moving day. Talking about French, as the rest of Canada celebrates with face painting and fireworks, Quebec opts for a mass exodus of apartments. July 1st is Jour du Déménagement, moving day in Quebec. As you expect, it was mandated by the government of Quebec, but not for the reasons you might think. French law in the 18th century set May 1st as the starting day for all legal agreements, including leases. The only problem with May 1st moving day was that it was a major inconvenience for parents of children still in school. In 1973, the Quebec government mandated that moving day shift to July 1st to ensure primary school children would be out for the summer. In 2012, 80,000 Quebecers moved. Have you ever tried to haul a fridge up a rickety spiral staircase? Good luck. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell. Leave a comment down below of how you celebrate Canada Day. Share this video with friends and family. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. See you guys in the next video. Peace. Canada da, Canada da. <laughs> You're gonna put that in the bloopers. Like we're we're on a matching system. <laughs>
quand on a pu dessiner, on joue avec des dés. Et des dés géants. Je suis venue il y a deux ans. Au début, je ne parlais même pas français, même pas anglais, mais j'ai continué à apprendre. En tant que j'ai appris très bien le français, j'ai commencé mes cours. Et j'aime beaucoup le Canada, mais sur ma garantie, on ne peut pas faire beaucoup de choses. Donc, à la maison, je dessine, je joue et j'apprends aussi. J'adore le Canada dans le fac. Joyeuse fête de la nationalité. J'aimerais vivre toute ma vie au Canada. Savez-vous qu'est-ce que mon petit frère a fait Mais c'est à ton 